Most people think of scientific research as being limited to the halls of academia or corporate labs. But a growing movement is breaking down those walls, showing anyone can take a crack at being a scientist. Christina Quinn headed to a do-it-yourself biology lab in Somerville to see just what they're capable of. From the outside, it looks like a pretty standard two-story garage. But inside this building is a biosafety level one laboratory called Boston Open Science Lab, or BOSS Lab. Our mission is to enable biotechnology to basically allow anybody to learn and do biotechnology outside of academia and industry in a safe manner. Angela Kesmarzik is president of BOSS Lab. She has a PhD in molecular biology and is one of a growing chorus of voices who want to democratize science. And I think it's really important because they can put in their perspectives or they, they may have specific needs that people in academia or industry don't necessarily, aren't aware of. Community science labs continue to pop up across the U.S., some with lofty ambitions. One lab in Oakland, California, has created an open source initiative to make generic insulin. The DIY bio movement is also making its way into homes as gene editing kits are widely available online. Of course, a little guidance always helps. We have two classes. One is a sort of an introduction to genetic engineering. Timothy Stiles is a computer scientist who joined Boss Lab so he could learn how to extract DNA. Now he teaches the class on it. We show people how to take little pieces of DNA and insert them into E. coli, totally lab-safe E. coli. And the next day we take the plates out and it's fluorescent green, which lets you know that you added a gene to it. That's where the, I can do this too, happens. Um, and that's sort of where a lot of people have that aha moment. Since Boss Lab is a biosafety level one science lab, all the materials they use are safe. They work mainly with yeast and E. coli. And every member has to go through safety training. There's also an internal review board that vets every project proposal. Still, the FBI keeps in touch with Boss Lab, as they've been doing with the DIY bio movement in general. But Angela Kazmarzik welcomes this relationship, because it's all part of Boss Lab's ethos to keep science research transparent. It's community driven. The whole goal is to promote scientific literacy so that people understand how the technology works. What I would really love to see, you know, in the next five to ten years is to see some, like, really, you know, solutions to problems uh, in society today that, that come out of these spaces. Making scientists out of all of us. Even Making science, <laughs> no, even me, not a chance. <laughs> Democratize science, DIY science. There are lim I mean, I couldn't learn how to do hip replacement surgery. What do they say you can and can't? Or maybe I can. Maybe you could. I mean, you could certainly go there and talk to them about it, and they'd be like, maybe you need to go somewhere else. Jim. Okay, fine. So but, what are the limits? That, uh, well, okay, so it's a biosafety level one. So they can't work on pathogens there, and they don't want to work on pathogens. Yeah. I think that there's something to be said. There's a lot to learn from working with yeast um, and E. coli, and yeast is part of this whole synthetic biology practice, and that's a, that's a big and growing field right now. Who belongs to this thing? I mean, not only who, but what kinds of people, science inclined to begin with, and how much does this thing cost? Yeah, so they have about 20-something members right now, and a lot of them are science inclined, um, mm -hmm. people who um, have always been interested but never really got the hands-on experience in a lab, uh, but also people who work on educational videos and want to have that hands-on cool. Um, you know, work so they can figure out how to explain things in their videos. Did, so, yeah. did you do or 50 learn? 50 bucks a month, sorry. Oh, sorry, I forgot 50 bucks a month for membership. So did you do or learn anything? You're, you're so, I don't mean that accusatorily, but I the actually way. learned that, um, so Angela worked in a biosafety level 2 lab for a couple of years, yeah. and she was always pipetting, and she, would, she got her, you know, her shoulder hurt. You get, like, pipette shoulder. Is there really such a yes, thing? Yes, it's a thing. Pipette's like a tube for those yes, who don't like know. Yes, like pipetting all day long, you get pipette shoulder. I think it's probably, like, I bet you pastry bakers um, probably get those. We'll like do a piece chefs. on them and we'll find out. That's actually a nice little factor. Good to see <laughs> there you, Christina. Go. Good to see you too.